The insulin pump has been around for a couple of decades actually, but they were very, very unwieldy to start with. People used to have to carry them on a backpack. They're much, much smaller and sophistic more sophisticated. Very similar idea, but you only have one insulin, you don't have to use two, because the pump does two things. It gives you what they call the basal rate, so it's your base, your basal rate, and you, you end up having to discover your own needs on a sort of day or night basis. I mean, I, I take silly amounts, really small amounts of insulin. I'm on about half a unit an hour, um, which is like 12 units a day, which is very modest indeed. Um, but it just, it's just a number for you to get the idea of. Other people would be on different um, measurements. and Nobody really knows why. It's not actually necessarily to do with body mass or anything else. Um, so with your insulin pump, the background is always programmed to go in. So that's going through every hour, through the day and night. You wear the pump all the time. Then when you have food, you have to mimic a shot, but you do, it's called a bolus, and you basically program it in, and you've got, you've got an insulin reservoir, which is terribly similar to the cartridge. That um, is linked, the insulin goes through here. The, it's a, again, it's a plunger here, but it's, it's mechanical instead of manual. And that very slowly pushes woodly bits of insulin out. And then when you have foods, you know, if I had sandwiches at lunchtime, I'd probably need about four, four units of insulin. So I'd program in four units and it would deliver it through this, which is attached to another little cannula that drops the insulin into my body. Um, and you just use the one insulin and it keeps you going. Um, the other alternative coming out to this kind of pump, I mean, these are just known as insulin pumps. The next generation are patch pumps. The difference being that instead of the insulin being in this unit, this would still be the control centre. It would be where your blood test results go in and it's where you program your basal rate and your bolus. But the insulin is going to probably be on a patch that is stuck to the body. Um, and what it means is no tubing, uh, which really I think is quite quite a leap forward. Tubing can be a little bit in the way sometimes, but the downside is that at the moment the infusion set is really quite small. It's about the size of a, I don't know, a 10p piece, and maybe only sort of five millimetres high off the body. Whereas if you move to a handheld device and a patch or a pod, then those are bigger. But if you've got more freedom, then, you know, that might be a better choice for you.